good evening all welcome to the new series that is 7 in 7 series we will see chest cases in this presentation so 35 female with chronic history of asthma came with fever cough productive sputum and raised reserve will count you can see there are linear opacities in right upper lobe and even prominent bronchovascular markings here on axial ct mediastinal window you can see there are tubular structures filled with hyperdense material within it there is cystic bronchiectasis changes typically located centrally with even peribronchial consolidation changes and even consolidation with air bronchi in the right upper lobe this is the hyperdense material in the dilated bronchioles here you can see there is a traction bronchiectasis changes or fusiform or saccular bronchiectasis changes typically located in the central location and this is the dilated bronchiole as we have seen filled with hyperdense material these are nothing but the bronchoceles so this is a classical fingering glow appearance which is seen filled with hyperdense material that is mucin so the central bronchiectasis changes saccular bronchiectasis changes and bronchoceles with fingering glow appearance typically this is a case of allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis as we have already seen these are all the findings which can be seen in all allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis and even the cytology report has shown fungal etiology with aspergillus and even the culture microbiology has shown fungal elements so this is a classical case of allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis next 18 year male with cough breathlessness for 4 months fever for last 2 weeks bilateral crepes and difficulty in breathing you can see there is bronchiectasis changes there is consolidation changes noted in bilateral lower lobes with air bronchograms here you can see these are the consolidation changes in bilateral lower lobes here you can see there is a complete situs inverses as the heart left heart border is seen on right side stomach bubble on left right side liver is on the left side here you can see there is complete situs inverses with there is sinusitis changes so there is sinusitis situs inverses with bronchiectasis bronchiectasis so this is a classical case of cartagena syndrome next case 24 year male with chronic history of dry cough chest pain and occasional hemoptysis you can see there are densely calcified nodules noted scattered in bilateral lung fields there is calcification of the horizontal fissure and even there is calcification along the diaphragmatic aspects in bilateral lower lobes here this is the mediastinal window you can see there is a densely calcified pleura mediastinal pleura this is the diaphragmatic pleura and even the costal pleura and there is even calcifications around the horizontal and oblique fissures and these are the densely calcified nodules scattered in bilateral lung fields so this is a classical case of pulmonary alveolar microlithiasis so which uh, this pulmonary alveolar microlithiasis occurs due to mutation in slc 34a2 gene which is a sodium dependent phosphate cotransporter and there is excessive deposition deposition of the calcium phosphates in the micro my, calcium phosphates in the alveoli they present as multiple microliths these are the, all the features which can be seen in pulmonary alveolar microlithiasis but a specific sign is called black pleura sign where there is a subpleural area or subpleural zone of lung which is spared of these which is not involved by these microliths which is called the black pleura sign which is sensitive in case of pulmonary alveolar microlithiasis next case 41 year female with history of fever dyspnea and hemoptysis you can see there are multiple thin walled cavity multiple thin walled cystic lesions noted scattered in bilateral lung fields even few of the cystic lesions are showing fluid level suggestive of secondary infection and the intervening lung parenchyma is completely normal so multiple cysts of varying of nearly equal sizes and normal lung parenchyma between the cysts in a female definitely suspect lymphangial hematosis so other differential diagnosis can be considered are lymph lymphocytic interstitial pneumonia in case of females and in cases of connective tissue disorders or jogren syndrome and even child langerhans and histiocytosis can also present with multiple cysts but they will have a upper lobe predilection and also sometimes in adults with smoker there will be lch that is langerhans cell histiocytosis and other differential diagnosis brit hogg tube syndrome which is autosomal dominant syndrome where there will be multiple cysts with renal tumors so these are all the differential diagnosis for cysts in the lung so this is a case of lymphangial hematosis next case 44 year male came with complaints of cough dyspnea and hemoptysis you can see there is a thick wall cavity lesion there is a nodular projection nodular density which is arising from the wall of the cavity projecting into the lumen this is the cavity and this is the pericavitatory consolidation changes there is a mild nodular lesions also noted in right lung with hyperinflation and after giving contrast you can see this there is a intense enhancement noted within the nodular lesion which is connected to the segmental branch of the pulmonary artery so there is a intense 
enhancing outpouching noted within the cavity arising from the wall projecting into the lumen which is in turn arising from the segmental or subsegmental branch of pulmonary artery and this is the vrt reconstruction clearly so this is the outpouching are attached to the segmental branch of the pulmonary artery so this is a case of rasmussen aneurysm arising from pre existing tubercular cavity thanks to dr arbas tugluck for contributing this case next case 44 year male post covid patient with fever productive cough and hemoptysis you can see there is a lucent zone surrounded by ground glass opacities and multiple interlacing membranes surrounding it and there is a peripheral area of consolidation so this is a classical appearance of bird nest appearance or bird nest sign which is seen and even here you can see this is a ground glass opacity surrounded by peripheral consolidation changes so this is a reverse halo sign so this bird nest sign typically in a post covid patient definitely gives a clue of invasive aspergillus or mucormycosis so this is the bird nest sign which is also seen in other conditions like cryptogenic organism pneumonia bacterial pneumonia paracoxidomycosis tuberculosis sarcoidosis vaginal granulomatosis and even in pulmonary infarction thanks to dr veel nemetala for contributing this case i think last case young male with anemia bone pains came with fever cough breathlessness and wheezing you can see there are alter signal density in the altered altered density noted in the visualized bones there are hyperdense areas with hypo hypodense areas and there is cent typical central depression noted in the superior and inferior vertebral plate which gives the classical h shaped configuration of the vertebra here there is a spleen is shrunken with multiple calcifications and even bilateral pleural effusions and there is typical lower lobe consolidation changes with ear bronchograms typically involving post basal segments of bilateral lower lobes so this is a classical h shaped vertebra with multiple bone infarcts and even chronic shrunken spleen with calcifications and bilateral lobe lower lobe consolidations or collapse typically gives the clue for sickle cell disease with acute chest syndrome thanks to dr veel nemetala for contributing this case thank you all